During takeoff, you have options to modify your audit trail and the items that you've taken off. To modify the columns that appear in your audit trail, you can choose to show or hide columns using the button that lives on your audit trail header. Using this dropdown, you select the checkbox to show a column and unselect to hide. You can also drag and drop these column headings where you'd like them to appear in the audit trail. Next, to modify the items themselves, there are a couple of options. You can delete audit trail lines by selecting the line and clicking the trash can on the right-hand side. You can duplicate audit trail lines, an assembly or an item, by utilizing the Duplicate Selection button. This will create an additional audit trail line and prompt you for any changes to the duplicated line through a pane on the right-hand side of your screen. Finally, you can replace an item by selecting the Replace Item button while the corresponding item is selected in your audit trail. While utilizing the Replace Item function, you'll be directed to search for a replacement item within either your Trade Service Library or your Item Library. When utilizing either, you'll have the drill down menus on the left hand side to locate the items you're searching for or the use of the search function. If using the search function, you can always filter your results. Replacing can only be used on items and not assemblies.